But we believe a one size fits all approach doesn't work as we transition to this new future. We think again, multiple products can meet the customer's needs, uh, where they are in a different product needs, how they commute, etc. Despite their lukewarm entrance into the EV segment, Toyota's aim was still set on total domination of the entire EV segment. And in the past few years, they've been searching for something new that'll grant them a major advantage over already established brands in the segment, most notably Tesla. Well, it seems that the search is over, as Toyota's CEO, Koji Sato, recently revealed an all-new technology that will grant them dominion over the entire segment. So, without further ado, join us as we look at Toyota CEO's plans on how Toyota can finally defeat Tesla. It's safe to say that Toyota's outing in the EV segment with the Toyota BZ4X wasn't the best. The BZ4X, while a commendable vehicle, fell short of the Tesla Model Y, primarily because of the limited range it offered, as well as a general lack of power. Not to mention that its design was, well, divisive to say the least. And if that wasn't enough, the BZ4X has been plagued with minor reliability issues that made it quite a nuisance to live with. This would have all been overlookable, if not for the fact that the BZ4X is quite an expensive car for what it is. This made it even less appealing to the majority of buyers, especially since Tesla offers the Model Y with better performance and better range, as well as greater desirability for virtually the same price. Because of this not-so-great entry to the EV segment, Toyota needed to find a different approach to making EVs. This led them to research and develop different technologies that would help increase the range and reliability of their future EV models. And while that might sound convoluted and hard to do for a company that has been making EVs for less than two years, Toyota is no ordinary company. And after two years of hard work and devotion towards developing cutting-edge EVs, Koji Sato recently announced that Toyota has started working on an all-new technology that has been unheard of in the world of EVs up until now. So with that in mind, let's answer the question, what is this new technology? The technology we're talking about is Toyota's all-new battery technology. As we all know, most car manufacturers nowadays use lithium-ion batteries. Well, Toyota recognized that if it were to offer a better, more efficient, yet still similar battery type, it would easily rise in terms of popularity. Enter Toyota's all-new solid-state battery. Toyota recently started exploring the possibilities of structurally changing lithium-ion batteries to increase their potency, while mitigating their downsides. Their search constantly led them to the concept of solid-state batteries, which had been proposed way back in the 1830s. You see, solid-state batteries are generally like regular batteries, with a key difference being the fact that they use solid electrolytes instead of gel and liquid ones. Most battery types have been overly reliant on liquid electrolytes, primarily because of the chemical stability it provides. Furthermore, liquid electrolytes are very durable and have been developed to the point that their degradation is barely noticeable, but they aren't without fault as they're known to combust when physical damage has been done. This is because the liquid itself is the highly flammable part of lithium ion batteries and when it escapes the battery, any form of short circuiting can lead to the battery going up in flames. Not to mention that regular lithium ion batteries aren't exactly well known for their capabilities to deal with thermal runaway, which even further lowers their overall safety. Solid state batteries have been to be completely liquid free, replacing liquid electrolytes with solid ones. Solid electrolytes are known to be quite a bit more potent than liquid electrolytes, while also being much safer and less prone to, well, spontaneously combust. Unfortunately, solid state batteries have, since then, been rarely explored and used, mostly because we've been technologically restricted to do so. The widest adoption of solid state batteries was the implementation of such batteries as a standard for pacemakers and other similar battery powered devices. However, with the extremely rapid development of electronic devices, and most notably, electric vehicles, a window of opportunity for the development of such batteries has been opened. However, with that in mind, it would be high time for us to explore. What are the benefits of these batteries over regular ones? Solid state batteries have been proven to be a massive leap forward compared to regular lithium ion batteries in virtually every shape and form. First and foremost, let's start with the more pragmatic side of making solid state batteries. They're far cheaper and faster to mass produce. 
Since there isn't a liquid that needs to be perfectly measured and poured into the battery, one of the most time and resource consuming processes has been eliminated. Assembling a battery with a solid electrolyte is far easier and requires far less care and effort, which also shortens the overall production time, allowing the batteries to be produced at a far more rapid pace compared to regular lithium ion batteries. Furthermore, since solid state batteries require fewer materials to be made, and since the production is shorter than lithium ion batteries, their carbon footprint is also way lower than regular batteries. According to some sources, solid state battery production pollutes 40% less than lithium ion batteries. Apart from production benefits, consumers will also see a noticeable step up in terms of performance with these batteries. First of all, since solid electrolytes are far more compact and weigh far less, the batteries themselves can be smaller than regular lithium ion batteries while achieving similar or even higher levels of charge. This is because the energy density of solid state batteries is also considerably higher than regular batteries. This means that the cars themselves will now be much better from a driving perspective, while also achieving a better range economy. Not to mention that, due to an increase in energy density, the range itself will be considerably greater compared to the range found on equivalent lithium ion batteries. Toyota has already stated that their prototype batteries achieved a range of up to 750 miles. Honestly, that's just terrific and is more than what most of us will ever cross on a single run. If, however, you're one of the few people who cover distances that are greater than 750 miles, worry not, as recharging the battery won't be a hassle either. You see, solid electrolytes allow for a much faster recharge time, and the aforementioned 750 mile battery that Toyota presented can be recharged from 10 to 80% in less than 10 minutes. Not to mention that, when made to a specific standard, solid state batteries can have a much longer lifespan than regular batteries. Solid state batteries can potentially be charged five times more than regular batteries, which effectively multiplies their lifespan. This indirectly lowers the carbon footprint even more, as batteries will be replaced far less frequently. Finally, as we've already mentioned, they're quite a bit safer than lithium ion batteries. Since liquid electrolytes have been eliminated in favor of solid ones, you shouldn't worry about your battery suddenly deciding to blow up underneath your butt. Even if it does malfunction, the worst thing that can happen is the battery itself dying. Nothing more than that. However, if they're so much better than lithium ion batteries, and if they were thought of nigh on two centuries ago, why weren't they adopted earlier? Well, despite being quite ambitious as a concept, solid state batteries have a few glaring issues, especially compared to lithium ion batteries. First of all, while mass production of such batteries can be potentially cheaper than lithium ion batteries, it's simply impossible for manufacturers to make them at the same scale they do regular batteries. The current battery production ecosystem has been specifically designed for lithium ion batteries, and it would take years for it to be completely replaced, which means that solid state batteries still cannot achieve the projected pricing. Furthermore, even though they technically have a potentially longer lifespan than lithium ion batteries, in reality, it isn't exactly as black and white as that. This is because solid state batteries are well known for forming dendrites. Dendrites are tiny, rigid, tree-like structures of lithium metal that can grow inside a battery. Their presence reduces battery life and performance, and also leads to short circuits, which in turn leads to catastrophic battery failures. And while short-circuiting won't exactly make your solid-state battery go up in flames, it will surely decimate its lifespan quite rapidly and significantly. Dendrite formation is present in lithium-ion batteries too. However, the frequency of their formation is nowhere near as common as it is in solid-state batteries. Apart from this, all solid-state batteries also tend to experience serious degradation. This happens because the cathode and anode experience volume changes with repeated charging and discharging, leading to interfacial degradation-like side reactions and diminished contact between active materials and solid electrolytes. But as grim as all of this sounds, you don't need to worry because Toyota is developing their battery so that it mitigates or outright eliminates most of these issues. Most notably, the dendrite formation has been significantly lowered and the degradation of the battery has been also mitigated. As a result, Toyota announced that their prototype solid state batteries retain 90% of their charge even after 500,000 miles. However, even more important is the fact that the battery itself is being designed with mass production in mind. 
which means that we'll eventually be seeing a full-on invasion of solid-state batteries all across Toyota's EV lineup. But that makes us wonder, when will these batteries get adopted? Well, if you're worried that solid-state batteries are just another project that will end up abandoned and forgotten, don't be. Toyota remains very adamant about progressively replacing lithium-ion batteries with solid-state batteries, and according to them, that shift is expected to happen very soon. Furthermore, Toyota isn't the only company that is sold on this idea, as Volkswagen recently partnered up with QuantumScape, a Silicon Valley-based battery manufacturer, to make their solid-state battery. And if that still isn't enough proof, Bill Gates himself invested a billion dollars into QuantumScape and their solid-state battery development. QuantumScape's batteries have also been well-tested, and just like Toyota's, they've shown little to no loss even after extensive mileage. However, they're still far behind Toyota when it comes down to the expected release date. Toyota is already pretty adamant that their batteries are production ready, as by far, they have been nearly flawless. However, Koji Sato still wants to fully test them out, which is why he stepped out and announced that the worldwide release and adoption of their solid state batteries is stated to happen in 2026 or 2027. Granted, this doesn't mean that all Toyotas will have a solid state battery. However, they will be offered as an option on most electric vehicles. These initial batteries will have a reduced capacity, if that can be said at all, because they'll still have a capacity that varies between 350 and 500 miles. Once the public gets accustomed to solid state batteries, Toyota will start mass producing them. This, according to Toyota, will happen around 2030, possibly a little bit later. But with all of that in mind, it's important to note that this is still a lithium-based battery, which means that it relies on one of the hardest and most toxic elements to acquire. Not to mention that the current infrastructure is simply not ready for a full-on electric revolution, as recharging thousands of vehicles at the same time simply isn't possible. This is why Toyota also focused on exploring different kinds of powertrains and ways of powering vehicles that are also zero emissions. Their search has led them to an all new internal combustion technology that is virtually completely emission free. And we're not talking about hydrogen combustion engines here. To learn more about this all new technology, be sure to check out this video.